We begin with a reaction to yesterday's triple shooting involving Canadians at a Mexican resort, resulting in two killed and one injured. While Mexican authorities are looking for the shooter, they say everyone involved were known to police. Jason Adola has the details. A forensics team is seen canvassing the grounds of this Mexican resort. And according to local law enforcement, two Canadians are dead, one of them a woman, and another is wounded in hospital after an argument turned into violent gunfire. It all happened at a hotel near Playa del Carmen yesterday, a tourist hotspot between Cancun and Tulum. The region's state security secretary took to Twitter with photos of the wanted shooter wearing a blue tracksuit. One shot is showing him brandishing a handgun. Translated to English, Lucio Hernandez Gutierrez previously reported, this is the guest who shot, causing the injuries that later caused the death of one of them. Mexican authorities say all involved were guests, and Canadian officials informed them that everyone, including the two slain Canadians, had criminal records tied to drugs, weapons, and robberies. Here on the home front, there are mixed feelings about Mexican travels following the shooting. I mean, violence doesn't scare me away from any place in particular. It's that kind of everywhere. A little, a little bit nervous for sure. Yeah, I would uh, think, think twice again before I, I go. Pacific Coast, I like going to Puerto Vallarta. Most of those areas are less likely to be a problem with uh, gang violence. It's kind of a feeling that as long as you stay within the confines of the resort, there's a level of security and safety. Kenneth Bombay is the CEO of Global Threat Solutions, an American company that specializes in travel advisories and protection services. He says violence on the resort raises concerns amid a growing trend that normally takes place outside the secured vacation spots. Last year, two people were killed during a confrontation between rival drug dealers south of Cancun, and two females were gunned down during an apparent shootout in Tulum. The increase in tourists you also have an increase in drug demand, and that's one of the key elements of what we're seeing happen there. Where there's a demand, the cartels will go. Bombay says anyone planning a Mexican vacation to stay on the resort, but if you want to venture off, you must thoroughly research where you are going. First of all, you want them to be informed. You want them to know down to the street level where there is uh, reports of gang and drug activity. Very easily, very easy to make a wrong turn. We did reach out to Global Affairs Canada to find out more about the Canadians, who they are, their identities. They say they would not release any more information due to privacy concerns and that consular officials continue to gather more information.